Thanks to Jenny Horrocks and Nick Cavill, we're going to stay with football on Fast Track because Football Fables is the name of a film about African football that's just recently won two awards at an international film festival in Italy. Screenwriter and director Baffa Cotto travelled to the festival to pick up the awards and as he explained to me earlier, he's hoping the film will create a better understanding of what African footballers have to go through in order to get a shot at the big time in Europe. Well, the film needs to look at the scene in Ghana. It takes Ghana as a case study and looks at how players come through the ranks and the system, if you like, of how a young man would uh, go from a rural field playing football, having a kick about, to being in a position where he could become an actual prospect in the big leagues over here in Europe. And what made you want to focus on that? What sort of inspired you to make the film? The nugget for it, really, was when I was a kid. I used to hear great tales of how wonderful African footballers were, but growing up in London, there weren't that many around in the 80s. I think it was in 1990 when Roger Miller in Cameroon really made a mark against Argentina in the World Cup. It was like an awakening, really. Then you have George Weir, Abidi Pele, bearing the standard for African footballers in Europe, and they really played the trail with Tony Boa, and now it's, you know, you can't throw a stone in Europe without hitting an African player. How does the film work? I mean, you know, do you take a particular case study? Our main characters are, are prospects in one of the Ghanaian youth teams called Francis, Francis Boyd. He's been on trials here in the Premier League with Reading and uh, he's been to teams in France and in, uh, in Russia. He's your typical young prospect who's, who's been bandied about Europe as the next uh, big thing. I think uh, the, the phrase wonder kid has been applied to him in some of the press. He's in Ghana and we're with him on his journey, on his story, seeing how he and the people who handle him try and negotiate and leverage a move abroad, which is ultimately the dream of any kid playing football in Ghana. Tell us about uh, the, the recognition that uh, the, the film has already received. The film just won a couple of awards in Italy. At a film festival in Palermo, we were um, recognised as the best foreign feature film. and. Um, I think they, they appreciated the, the story that we were telling, and so they gave us the best screenplay award as well. So that was nice. 2010 is going to be an interesting time, and hopefully a watershed with the World Cup coming up. There's a buoyancy about um, the game and the continent role in the game, in the world game. So I think it's the right time to put this film out and give people the opportunity to really see where it is that all these wonderful players come from and the challenges that they have to face. And you can see more about Baf Akota's film, Football Fables. You can go to his Facebook site on the internet, log on to Facebook and search for Football Fables.